Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The market right now inside of FIBA 22 is absolutely mad. EA Sports compensated all of the people who packed the incorrect versions of the Foot versus Ice cards last week on Monday and on Thursday, and it is impacting the market like crazy right now. It's even dropping some other parts of the market because people are seeing these low prices on these cards as we head into Tuesday today. And they're going out and selling what they have to go buy these ice cards because a card that they thought was cool or, you know, that they couldn't afford, now they can afford because these prices have dropped off so much. So that's the big news today, right? We're, we'll talk about winter wild cards a little bit. I want to talk about the McGloyer SBC, the base mid, and some weekend league rewards changes that are going to be big for this game. And those changes will take effect this Thursday when the season resets. Um, but it was, I guess, technically yesterday on Monday was like the quietest day of winter wild cards yet. This Tyler McGlure SBC is nice. I think, yes, it's a very interesting card. The links are not that good. Um, the, the, the low high work rates, he was low medium on his base card before this. I think everybody's looking at that 76 defensive awareness and saying that's just not good enough or maybe the 80 composure. But other than that, the card does look pretty decent and it's, and it's pretty cheap. So Kind of a fun card from EA Sports. Now, I had talked yesterday about the Alwar SBC. Um, and I mean, I guess there's no schedule for when these cards could be released, like the leaks. I mean, people have leaked this McGloyer card. Uh, and Alwar is still a card that is going to be coming. I thought Alwar was yesterday, but evidently that is not the case. Um, so later on this week, Alwar is supposedly coming. And we'll talk about what leaked SBC is supposed to be coming out today. On this game as well but let's get to the market because seriously this is madness this is like never seen before market content and market movements on this game i really can't think of another time where ea sports has messed up so bad and it's had such an impact on the market now of course last week we talked about you know uh when they had this mess up and we made a video about it and we talked about how it's going to impact the market and ea is compensating people now the compensations have happened ea even tweeted out they said hey um, we, we fixed this and everything's been sorted. So if you pack the incorrect version of a fire card or ice on Monday of last week or on Thursday of last week, you now should be compensated. If you packed gold, Gabriel Jesus, you should now have his ice item. Now I believe that they are honoring the tradable versus untradable. So as a lot of people were opening marquee matchups last Thursday and we're opening tradable packs, this supply of tradable cards from this ice versus ice the, the compensations that EA did, it's literally insane. It is literally insane, the supply on the market. Gabriel Jesus was 900,000 coins just a couple hours ago, and I believe it was at like midnight to 1 a.m. UK time when these compensations starting roll, rolled out. And that makes a huge difference, right? Because there is a lot less percentage of the user base that is on this game when during that time frame, right? Of course, that's when there's a lot less transfers on the market and the main user base, Europe, uh, a lot of the the UK and the EU is asleep. Now, this morning when this video is going up, it's kind of a different story. The people who were not on the market last night when the compensations happened, they're going to be waking up and seeing this. So I think that's really going to impact the market more today. And we'll talk about that. But again, take a look at some of these price drops from these compensations that EA Sports did. Uh, and we knew this was going to happen, right? 900K for Gabriel Jesus. Look at this drop off. Really insane just literally a sharp drop off right away down to 570,000 coins now these cards have been bouncing around because periods of supply where people are listing them up relisting and then also people think that they're very cheap too cheap and buying them right gabriel jesus went to 550k rebounded to like 620 now he's back at 575 i'm personally not touching these cards right now i'm gonna wait until i see what happens into today on tuesday because i honestly think there's gonna be another period period this morning on Tuesday where you know a lot of people wake up and get on this game and they see that they have these cards and they go list them up I think there's going to be another round of pure supply and pure panic take a look at Adama man Adama went from 210,000 coins down to 130k literally a 33 percent price drop off this is like a legit market crash like insane market crash type scenario uh, on some of these cards, but it's not really from panic selling. It's literally from just supply because EA gave out the wrong cards this last week 
and now they're compensating people because of it. So guys like Jesus, Valverde, Correa went from 200,000 coins and is now down to 140 K on the market. Joe Gomez's freeze card was, I mean, look at this card down over 130,000 coins. He was 420 K yesterday. Right now he's under 300,000 coins for this item. Uh, people are going to want to buy these for their teams. There's going to be a lot of people that want to buy these for their teams because they dropped off in price so much. And there's been people waiting for this opportunity, but here's how I imagine it's going to go down. I think these cards are going to go up in price, but I think what's going to happen first is like this Gabriel Jesus was 550, now he's 570. What I think could happen is people wake up today on Tuesday, they realize, oh my goodness, I have this Gabriel Jesus. They list it up again, take the coins. The people that don't want to have the card, they take their coins. Uh, this Gabriel Jesus maybe has another bit of um, panic listing and his price drops for like an hour this morning on um, Tuesday and then rises up after that because also what you're going to have today are a lot of people who see how cheap these cards have gotten and they say oh my goodness this is like a card that i want to try and add to my team and now i can't afford it or now i'm okay paying this price for this card i know that the winter wild cards items right now are the new promo they've got the kids all hyped per se right that's what we say a lot in the live streams but that's the big promo that's going on but there's still some really good cards in here that a lot of people would like to use gabriel jesus adama Traore, right premier league links with the zaha spc that is out right now joe gomez right for the insane value that his card is now this is valverde 450k for this card that was once you know six hundred thousand coins it's really really affecting the market so that's kind of how i think this might go down if i were to try to trade with any of these today I would say that the longer you wait into today on Tuesday, you know, I, I think you're really just going to see a big dip in the morning for an hour or a couple hours, then a rise back up because people are already starting to do some of this. I mean, take a look at the other version of, of Ice Jesus and the Fire version, right? The flip side, a lot of the Fire cards have dropped down. And we, we talked about this last week as well. Fire Jesus was a million coins yesterday. He's 899 right? Uh, Fire Valverde is down. I sold two Fire Kundes for 287,000 coins a couple hours ago. He's now down to 262. So these cards aren't even getting supplied on the market. They are just getting, they're dropping in price because people are seeing how cheap the ice versions are. They're going and getting those since it's, it's such a discount and using those instead of these Fire versions. And there's actually other cards on the market that are dropping in general because of this, like I take a look at some of these wild card items, like Jonathan David, 162K, that's down. He was 180 just like a couple hours ago before they released this compensation. Uh, and I'm looking across the rest of the market. Pogba is down a little bit. Rudiger is down a little bit. And it looks like people are really selling some of the cards from their team to go and try these versus players or to buy a versus player that they weren't able to afford before um, because of how cheap they have gotten because of this compensation. So again, it's just absolutely crazy. And if you really, really want these for, for your team, this is an absolute buy time. I really think that, yes, these cards have some insane supply now that might cause more extreme panic selling on them a little bit later on. But these cards were pretty rare to begin with, right? The, the uh, ice and the fire cards, the fire cards are still very rare. And these, these ice cards are going to hold them in check a little bit. But these guys were only in packs for like five days, four days. So unlike a normal promo team, they weren't they didn't have all the lightning rounds but now they have this crazy supply from the weird you know ea mistake pack situation so if you do want any of these cards for your team i do think that today this morning is probably going to be a decent time to buy just because you have this huge injection of supply especially if it's a meta item you're going to see them kind of bounce rebounds rebound and bounce back as people want to use them in their teams so just a crazy situation with all these cards uh again like jesus at the moment uh you know other cards that have dropped because of jesus is like timo Werner. other other strikers in the premier league have dropped off timo Werner is 768k and yesterday he was 850,000 coins this card is just dropping off because this jesus is becoming cheaper and people are saying hey i'm gonna sell my Werner to go get this jesus and that's why you're seeing even some of these winter wild card items drop off a little bit into uh today on tuesday just because the, the focus has transitioned to these cards that are crazy crazy drop offs on the market but those are all my thoughts on that let's talk about weekend league reward changes and you can actually see this if you go into the game if you go into the play section you go to foot champions 
and then I believe you go into champs playoffs here and then um, I think you can go, yeah, Champions Finals Preview. You can look in here and see the rewards. They have changed, right? They have changed. But what I'm going to show you is this nice spreadsheet uh, fixed up by a, a man on Twitter named Praetorian, right? I'm going to provide the link to this down below if you want to take a look at it full screen on your own device uh, after this video. But again, as you can see here, right, there were only like, what, four or five ranks before. Now we have rank one all the way to rank 10, rank one being the highest. Now you can see 19. You can see what happens here is that basically I think what they were doing with this Foot Champs rewards update and the structure was to make Foot Champs more competitive because it seemed like Foot Champs qualifying was the really hard part of Foot Champs. And then you got to the finals and it's like, okay, now I'm just here to get my eight wins or my 12 wins or my 16 wins and get out. And I think this, the, the 19 and 18 win threshold should, should have been in the game from the start for those elite level players and have better rewards to get to at that top end. I also think that, you know, there's not very many players that hit this top threshold of 18, 19 wins anyways, but some of those guys that were maybe stopping on 12 or 16 wins are now going to get some more beefy rewards, right? Two ultimate packs and a 50k pack, three of the team of the week packs tradable, and then three player picks, 100,000 coins um, there for those cards, which is very interesting, uh, or 100,000 coins of, of pack of coin value back. Now, let's talk about like where most of us are going to be at, right? Like the new eight win threshold is nine wins. The number of games in weekend league is not changing. It's still 20 games. But if you get nine wins, you get a thousand foot champs points, 25,000 coins. You get two player picks. You get one tradable team of the week pack. But now you get a 100k pack and a 50k pack. Before, for eight wins, I believe you got two player picks, a team of the week pack, 35,000 coins and a 100K. So they took 10,000 coins away from the coin reward, but they're giving you a 50K pack as well, tradable. So honestly, this rewards update is mostly a dub. It is mostly a dub. Yes, it does require you get to get one more win technically, uh, but if you're like an, an eight win player who's like, man, I don't really wanna stretch for 12, now maybe you have another option to get like 11 wins. I feel like 11 wins is going to be another place for people to try to get to now because you get that extra player pick and extra 15,000 coins uh, and you get a ultimate pack instead of a uh, instead of a 100K pack, which isn't that much of a difference, but you do get those extra coins and you get a third player pick. So I think nine and 11 wins is kind of for a lot of people that were playing the eight before kind of going to be the move. But the biggest dub about all of this is that yes, these rewards are changing and there's a little bit of change there and it may affect you. It may not affect you too much. I think the biggest W is this right here. As of course, in season one, the qualification amount of champions qualification points to get into the um, playoffs was 1500. Then they rose to 2000 for season two. For season three, they're lowering it to 1250 qualification points. So if you look at this graphic again, if you get 14 wins or above, that's basically auto champions playoffs. You don't have to play any rivals games to get your, um, you know, your qualification points. Still, you get a thousand though, if you're 11 or at nine wins. Uh, so I think this is just a W though. And it makes sense for EA, right? Because we're entering the Christmas season. There's going to be a lot of quote unquote Christmas noobs or people that get the game for Christmas. And that's going to bring some new people on the game. And EA obviously wants to keep them entertained and not make it too difficult that they quit. So another W about champions playoffs is that there's 24 points needed now. Uh, or sorry, there's 20 points needed over 10 matches. So before playoffs, you had to go five and four, right? To get out and to move on to the finals. Now you get an extra game. So instead of nine games, you get 10 and um, you have to get 20 points. So you can actually, instead of going five and four in champions playoffs now, all you have to do is when this updates on Thursday, you just have to go four and six and this is going to make this easier which is going to allow more people to get into the foot champions weekend league which might even make weekend league a little bit easier but i think it's going to also motivate more people to play because of that and that's going to of course bring some more coins onto this game uh with the rewards right the rewards at the top tier there's more team of the week packs more ultimate packs so that's going to bring some more coins onto the market uh, just via the rewards and that could cause some prices to kind of boost up even further on Monday mornings and during the weekend when people do get their rewards. So that's just a very interesting thing. Changes to weekend league rewards, how it could affect the market. I mean, I don't think it's going to impact it too much in reality. 
um, except for the fact that more people are probably going to aim and be able to get into the Foot Champions Weekend League because qualifying is easier, which again, I think that we would see the biggest market impact uh, on rewards days and on the weekends because there'd be more demand for teams and for people to buy teams if there's more people that are playing in the weekend league. So that's kind of the biggest W, I guess the biggest point of concern and things to talk about uh, there. So let's look back at yesterday a little bit again on the market and then look into today on Tuesday as well. Again, the McGuire SBC was okay, but the biggest SBC yesterday that everybody was talking about was the base mid icon SBC that returned the exact same requirements. It's out for a week. Um, of course, after this SBC comes up like once or twice, people are like, hey, can you give us like a base or mid player pick? Where's our icon player pick, right? This is the same kind of, I guess, um, strategy in the, in the same schedule they did with the base icon upgrade. They started with the base. I think they released it three times before they released it during uh, Black Friday as repeatable. So I would assume that we would get this base or mid icon upgrade maybe one more week before they would go to a player pick or to a mid only icon upgrade. So that's just kind of something to kind of think about. But since fodder is so cheap, a lot of people went out and did this yesterday, but fodder has risen a little bit on that higher tier range, right? I think the biggest increases in fodder that you saw were on the 86 rated cards and above. 88s went from 22K to 26, 27,000 coins. I think you're gonna see this fodder go up a little bit more today on Tuesday. Uh, and if the content is not insane today, probably going to rise a little bit more later on today as well. You know, 90 rated players, Ter Stegen was like 47K. He was 38K yesterday. So technically, if you bought fodder, when we mentioned it in last night's video, you know, 84s were in the low 2K range, 85s were at like 6K a piece. That was kind of like the optimal time, it seems, especially for this higher to mid tier stuff. Now your 83s, 84s, and 85s are still relatively low, but it's going to take more of the player SBCs or a party bag SBC to really get those to rise. So if you, if you don't want to hold on to fodder much longer uh, and you want to take the coins, you could on some of this higher tier stuff. Although I do think that it can go higher on this game. Now today on Tuesday, content wise, what are we expecting? Well, our daily SBC, and I found this graphic on Twitter today um, by Ham's Foot. I'll leave a link down in this in the description as well. I believe that according to this, we are going to get the Canes SBC today, which is supposed to be a five-star, five-star center attack in mid in the Bundesliga. The links, again, don't look that fantastic, um, but five-star, five-star would be really dope on this card, especially uh, with the stats, the face stats that this has. It could be a very interesting item. So keep an eye out for this SBC. And then it looks like we're getting our tomorrow on Wednesday, I, I would assume. That is according to this uh, is what it looks like. So our is still coming. That is not an SBC that is like getting, you know, that is forgotten about. That is still an SBC that we are expecting. And same thing with this Kaza. So a lot of the cards that I bought that were League One, I'm still kind of holding on to. I've got some Atals on my transfer list. Um, yesterday was a decent day for flipping. If you bought some cards in the panic, I bought a Modric at 9.07. Uh, again, I bought those two Kundes that I mentioned at 255 and 258. I bought some in Babus during the panic for 115 to 117. I'm kind of selling these at like 130 because I'm just a little bit worried about, again, the ice and Babu affecting this fire one a little bit. Oh, by the way, this Traore got upgraded from an 86 to an 87. If you see him on the Footbin popular page, that is because um, they officially got the W. Uh, from, from UEFA. UEFA declared that competition a 3-0 Stad Rene win since Spurs were not able to find a makeup date for that game. So that card is now up to an 87. Um, and I still have some Atals here that I bought in the, the mid 60K range. So, you know, that's kind of just the market at the moment. And again, as I mentioned, you might see today still a few cards like some of these winter wild cards still drop off uh, a little bit. Like the Jonathan David that I was just mentioning, I'm kind of watching him again because again, with all of this League One hype that seems to be on the horizon and, and coming with the Awar SBC and the Kaza SBC. I'm, I'm just keeping an eye on this card. I bought a couple at 170. He's even down from that now. Again, I think this, this whole ice compensation thing is changing things a little bit and, and taking the focus off of these winter wild cards items and putting it on those ice cards. So if this goes down any lower to like 160 or below, I might have to snag a few of them. 
I really might have to snag a couple because I think this could rise back up as people are really trying out this card and they really enjoy it, it seems. So just keep an eye on some of the winter wild cards for that sort of movement today. Very small chance for the party bag. Um, if EA was to release a party bag, you know, again, during the week, this week would be a time for that. But pretty soon we are going to be focusing on the winter wild cards team too. And then all the talk from there is going to be focused on... Um, Winter Wild Cards uh, Team 2, and then the Foot Champions and the Milestone Rewards. Again, we remember this happened once already this year when they gave out Milestone Rewards for Division Rivals because the season is ending. A lot of people were, were worried about this market crashing with those rewards, and it didn't really. But, of course, we have a really sick promo team in packs right now, so we'll cover that a little bit more in tomorrow's video, how that could be looking on the market the, the winter wild cards probably are going to take a wild ride in price uh on a wednesday as they go out of packs on thursday a day earlier than normal so that's the video for today boys a lot of crazy stuff going on with these ice cards if you want to risk it and get involved with some of them uh be my guest or especially if you just want to buy one for the squad like i totally understand if you want to buy a gabriel jesus and add this to your team because his price is forever going to be affected uh, because of all the movements today. But still, I think that 500k for this card, in the grand scheme of things, is very cheap. For the links that he provides, for the card that he is, uh, all of these ice cards are cheap at the moment because of the supply. So, that's just the way of the land right now on the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team market. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.